Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. Today we're at this beautiful desert garden and we're gonna take you along and look at some plants. And here's the map of the entire place. It's pretty cool, it's free to go to. Let's go take a look. Okay, these are some of my favorites. These are the yellow bunny ears. Look how stinking cute these are. Oh. Can you see why they're called the yellow bunny? Pretty cool. And these are the white bunny ears. I'm already obsessed with bunnies, so a succulent bunny is a huge bonus. Let's see the claret cup cactus. Cinnamon bunny ears. So cute. Strawberry hedgehog. Some more of the yellow bunny ears. Very cool. Here's some more the cactus. Fish hook barrel. This is a fire barrel. This is the golden barrel cactus. It's so cool looking. It almost looks fake. It looks like it's plastic. Oh, here's a bloom of the fish hook. Look at that, such a pretty color. You can see the previous blooms, there's one left on there. Oh, wow. This is the Engelman prickly pear. The purple prickly pear. You can see the tips of that have that purple lined edge. This is the dinner plate cactus. Look how huge. Very cool. This is cow's tongue prickly pear. Beaver tail prickly pear. Teddy bear chola. It's so cute. Beaver tail prickly pear. The blue barrel cactus. Some more of that Engelman's prickly pear. Strawberry hedgehog. All right, here's the sign for it. Silver torch cactus. Love it. This is the uh, cane chola. Oh, I do not know the name of this guy. It's missing its sign. So if you happen to know the name, leave it in the comments. And this is the pancake prickly pear. So cool. This little pond is full of fish. Let's see, Peruvian apple cactus. Very cool. Here's some more of that purple prickly pear. Say that fast 10 times. Love the color of that. Ooh, this one's fun. Arizona 
pencil chola. So cool. It's more the Peruvian. This is the old Mexican prickly pear. Some more beaver tail. flower prickly pear very cool and if you are a cactus lover this is the place for you oh here's another hybrid cactus dwarf Indian fig cactus that's super cool Look how thin that is oh excuse me what's going on over here Argentine giant cactus. No, it's definitely a giant one, that's for sure. Hello. Pine cone prickly pear, that's crazy. It looks just like a pine cone, but like a late mint green. Very cool. Some more of the silver chola. California barrel cactus. Here we are at the agave section. You have the Ferro agave. Durango delight agave. Rough leaved agave. Twin flowered agave. Some more of these adorable artichoke agave plants. Oh, I love this one. Black spined agave. This is a cream spike agave. It's more of the Perry's agave. Ooh, some octopus agave. It's a Caribbean agave. Some more agave. This is the variegated century plant. Another century plant. One's huge. Hesperallo. Here's a giant Hesperallo. Golden yucca. Some more weeping yucca. Some faxon yucca. Ooh, here's all the native plants. This is a native honey mesquite tree. Ooh, Mojave prickly pear. Side oats, grandma or grandma? Maybe the judge. Okay, here's the sage section. Here's the compact Texas Ranger. So pretty. Isn't that such a pretty color? Especially against the contrast of the red rock. Here's some more of that compact Texas. This is a uh, green cloud Texas sage. Cup leaf Texas sage. Super cute. All right, let's go see. Ooh, silver cloud Texas sage. All right, let's cross the little bridge. Let's see some of their fish. All right, 
we're gonna head up these stairs. Oh yeah, we're definitely going down there. Here's top view of the fish. All right, let's head down. Here's some water running. Little water feature, some maiden fern, and hybrid columbine. Some agave up there as well. We have the sugar sumac, some Texas mountain laurel, yellow rain lily, giant lily turf, purple heart, creepy mahonia again. This is the uh, big tooth maple. Blue elf aloe. So this is pretty cool. You can see the different types of fish that are in this little pond. century plant agave again. Fish hook barrel. Ooh, almost missed a sedum. This is the uh, sea urchin sedum. Pretty. Here's another just a spiny star, and some purple heart. a fun place to check out here in St. George. This place is so peaceful minus the loud cars driving by. It is such a beautiful place. Look at this pond. 
pond. So peaceful and relaxing. Rocky Point Ice Plant. Those cute little yellow blooms. There's another dirt burgundy lace. Desert Willow. This place is so cool. This is a watermelon red crepe myrtle. Cute little blooms. This is a bush morning glory. Yellow Birds of Paradise. This is a chocolate flower. Looks like the flowers are done blooming on this one. Coral Rain Lily. Pretty little blooms. The Globe Mallow. Desert Marigold, Yellow Rain Lily, some more Perky Sue, Pink Autumn Sage, Ooh, Firebush, how pretty that is. Coral Fountain, look at those blooms. Russian Sage, I love these. We see these all over St. George, such a pretty color. Here's a bunch of uh, Tuscan Blue Rosemary. Some more of that Tuscan Blue. I just can't believe how well it does out in this heat. The Desert Zinnia. There's another art seedless desert willow. You can see part of the blooms still there. This totally reminds me of the Cars ride. At California Adventure, if you've been there before. Arizona Arizona Velvet Mesquite. There's this tree right here. This is an Arizona Cypress. Such a pretty color. Should we go up these stairs and check out? See what's up here. Look at that gorgeous red rock. It's so pretty. Oh, here's some more cactus. Jumping chola. So cute. Buckhorn chola. Looks like we missed the bloom. Mormon tea. And this is a uh, sand sage. And it actually smells really good. Let's see. Turban oak scrub oak. is a turpentine bush. Looks like it did have some cute little yellow blooms at one time. The Utah century plant. It's an agave. This 
So I wonder if we can go up here. It looks like maybe. Oh, see right above here is the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve. Very cool. And there's an overlook trail and some really cool cliffs and some really awesome crevices. All right, let's get back. It is so hot. Ooh. Oh, we missed one snake weed. Yeah, it's totally free to come here. So cute. Black brush. Be fun to visit here in different seasons to see the way each plant blooms and grows in each season too. Here's some more of the, oh, this one's Nevada Mormon tea. Some holly oak. All right, so here's all the uh, yucca plants. And of course we have the Joshua tree. There's a weeping yucca. Dinosaur tracks. This area was home to a large lake during the early Jurassic period, which created a subtropical oasis where dinosaurs roamed. Many dinosaur tracks have been discovered throughout Washington County. The dinosaur tracks on the rocks to the right are identified as swim tracks, which were created as toes scraped or tails dragged in the mud when dinosaurs moved along the lake's shallow shoreline. These rocks were found during the construction of the Waters District Office Building, which neighbors the garden to the east. Follow the dinosaur tracks in the concrete pathways to see more tracks and fossilized limbs. A century agave plant. See if you can find some more plants and it looks like the sun's about to set and the sunsets here are magical okay we have a southern live oak see that sunset starting to peak or end i guess arizona rosewood Cute. This is so cute. I love how they have all the little labels on these. So this is a really cute little place. It has a cute little swing. I love this purple one, it's all over. There's this another yucca. I highly recommend you coming here. So next time you're driving through St. George, that beautiful skyline, take a stop by. Thanks again for joining us on Moody Blooms.